Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. It is Monday, the 1st of February, 2021, 8.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Taking a look at our cryptocurrency markets here. Um, if we look at Bitcoin first, we can see that on the three-week video, let me actually clear that out a little bit there. On the three-week video, uh, three-week video, the three-week uh, chart, we see last week was the first three-week candlestick that we actually had any downside pressure so uh, the three-week uh, charts on the top left and we closed pretty neutral actually I mean we we did have a lot more people buying up high over the three-week candle uh, but we did have buyers come into support price currently we are trading slightly above the above the open um, the the current three-week candlestick opened up on the 25th of January so we're roughly a week into this current three-week candle, and we're trading up about five point uh, five point five. We'll just say five percent. Transitioning over to the weekly candles, uh, we see over here on the top right. We see um, the last. So three weeks ago we had a down week. Two weeks ago we had a down week. Then last week we were up slightly and we've been finding support up against that blue line which is the tanken center the conversion line if we look at the daily we're seeing some continued weakness here uh, that is very very much pointing to some likely continued downside movement uh, we've been talking about this for the last couple weeks and um, maybe a little longer um, but this is definitely a thing that is still playing out and if we go to a little bit faster time frame here, if we look at, uh, say, the hourly chart, what we see occurring here is just a series of a series of continuation patterns. So on the hourly chart, which is down below here, let me get rid of the volume. When we see there was this down drive on the 29th, and we had a bear flag followed by a breakdown below another minor bear flag right inside here and then if you take this whole move by itself this is just another bear flag that we've got going on so on the short side of this um, you know if we if we really if we close down anywhere between um, 33,000 and 32,800 more than likely that's going to be a nice setup for a continuation short uh, really do watch out for that some people might look at this and say that there is a head and shoulders pattern inside of here um, you know I uh, I don't know I've, I've seen people identify this in various ways on some other charts and the thing about a head and shoulders pattern is that this is an entirely uh, Western construct. So the the and if we actually place the trend line there, I mean, if you just have to kind of refer back to Japanese candlestick theory and who, who originally created it, created it, um, Munahisa Honma, uh, his nickname was Sakata. That was also the city he was from. But he he talked about his five principles and you know without getting into a ton of detail there um, one of the patterns that he identified is called the three rivers and then there's the three mountains so all they look like are this so a three rivers pattern is sorry this is a three mountain pattern it's really any kind of up move that has three identifiable peaks and then the three rivers pattern is just the inverse of that that is uh, any move that has, oops, probably, well, you probably don't need me to draw that out. But what we've done in the West with candlestick patterns is we've taken this pattern and we've adjusted it like this, where we're like, okay, well, it seems like the middle part here, and then we called it a head and shoulders. Um, in reality, if you're doing candlesticks, this, that, that, that does not matter. All you need is, is three peaks or three troughs. And we do have uh, three peaks in this move here, followed by the actual down move. Uh, we, you, could, you could say hypothetically that we have tested that angle at least 
um, earlier at 4, 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, possibly. But look for a fallout, especially a drop down below 33,300. Uh, if that does continue to push south, we should see the rest of the crypto market kind of follow suit. I know there's a lot of talk about um, you know certain cryptocurrencies being pumped by the Wall Street's back community. Um, like Ripple was spiked up significantly over the weekend, but it's also decided just to like eliminate most of its most of its gains. R Ripple's very much a scam. Uh, they're in deep doo doo, and I really feel bad for folks who were participating in this over the weekend. You also saw Dogecoin <laughs> have a pretty pretty major run up too. Um, it's 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 been all over the place. I mean, this is a th these are these are the, whenever you see instruments like this, whether it's in the stock market, commodity markets, or cryptocurrency markets, these are things to avoid. You know, it's really easy to look at one and say, oh my gosh, this has moved up 30%. It's probably going to go up more. You know, when you start to look at something and you, you start to fear missing out, that is a good sign that you should stay away from it. All right. Um, because then what happens is you you get afraid of missing more. And then by the time you get in is often the time that everybody else was getting out. So that and that doesn't mean that you should trade to the inverse of it either, because these are wild and unpredictable moves. It's kind of like a parabolic rise or anything that goes parabolic, whether it's down or up. You don't know how far it's going to go. And by their very definition of parabolic move, again, whether it's higher or lower, um, it is very, very difficult to determine where the end is going to be. So it's best just to stay out of things like this. It's fun to watch, but don't get tempted. Or if, if you are tempted, don't follow through with trying to get into these markets. I think you're going to get hurt more often than you are going to uh, 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 find profit. Again, though, looking at our crypto markets, actually, we're looking at this right now live. Um, looking at the 15 minute chart. Yeah, it looks like Bitcoin's actually peeling a little bit of uh, its prior move off here. Looks like it's going to uh, try and flirt with that continuation move south. Uh, just, so just be on the lookout for that. Uh, but all of you watching this, please be very careful in these markets uh, with stocks, options, commodities, and cryptocurrencies. Um, this is a very, very, very wild and exciting time. But just be very, very careful of of what you are participating in from all of us here at exchange rates uk tv thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i look forward to speaking with you in our future videos